Writers and illustrators from around the country came to Lubbock to celebrate comics and show off their work at the West Texas Comic Con. One comic artist says he wishes comics were more accessible than they are now. It seems like a lot of kids, you know, young kids, are kind of aren't into comics like they were whenever I was a kid. You know, you got hardcore collectors and stuff, but as far as like the kids that get into it, to turn into those collectors when they start to get into their teen years and up, you're not seeing that nearly as much, and it's because they're not exposed to it like they used to be. Like I said, whenever I was a kid and stuff, where you could walk into any uh, any grocery store, any convenience store, and there were comics. You know, that was where you got your comics. Comic writer Paul Benjamin says he loves coming to smaller comic conventions like the West Texas Comic Con because he's able to interact more with comic enthusiasts. I love it. I, you know, I get to travel, I get to see new places, visit new towns, and I get to meet the people there. And you know, what's cool about it is no matter where you live, fans are always the same. You know, like they're all people who, like me, grew up reading comics or got into them later in life, maybe, but they love reading a story where you know you're putting the words and the pictures together to tell that story. Matt Sturgis, who helped write the comic book Jack of Fables, produced by Vertigo Comics, says he writes novels as well, but finds comics to be much more structured. It's, it's weird to kind of switch between the two. Comics is a really structured medium, because typically for like a mainstream comic, you have exactly 22 pages, no more, no less. So when you're telling a story, you have to know very clearly where you're going and, and what you're doing, and you have to fit your story into that space. And when I started writing my, my latest novel, I would write these very brief conversations, and then I'd be like, hey, wait a minute, I can make these conversations as long as I want. Many comic enthusiasts dressed up for the event where they were also able to purchase comics, magazines, books, and figurines. For The Daily Toreador, I'm Edmund Rostran.